the CR A M boys y'all know what's up today we got a story time and I mean I'm proud but I'm not proud it's, it's me it's my first love mm. it's been an up and down battle with that but we gonna jump right into the video wait before you even get into that make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this video share the video and Follow our social media platforms in the description below. But you know it's okay. <laughs> we gonna hit get right into the video. Alright, so you know it's freshman year. You know, a nigga new to this, you know? We come into high school like, you know, I mean I'm scared, I'm you know, I don't know what to think, you know. As freshman, you got the whole big book bags and all that coming in, you know, looking you looking fresh, you got the whole fit on. So you know, you know, I'm looking kind I'm looking not so icy, you know. I'm I'm really a lame boy, right? <laughs> but you know, so I walk it in school, you know, I'm seeing everything, you know, fresh booty. Mm. You know, I ain't, nev booty. I ain't never seen this mature booty. Mm. Mat that mature booty. You know, that grown booty. You know, you coming out of uh where you come middle school or whatever, you seeing all flats, you seeing flats everywhere. You ain't never had nothing like that. So I'm just looking like it's a whole new world, you know. I mean grande booty. But you know, I didn't really socialize with anybody freshman year. Cause you know I'm a freshman, what I'm gonna do. So sophomore year, mm. jumping in, mm. you're more rising up. Mm. You know, I'm on social media just chilling at home, right? You know, this girl DM me. You know, she kind of, I knew who she was, obviously, because she was the popular girl. You know, that popular girl of our grade. She was kind of popular. You know, she was up there. I'm down here. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, okay, I got this girl talking to me. You know, she kind of bad, you know? I'm feeling myself. So, I'm like, all right. She talking to me. We texting. And then she hit me with this question that I really never got asked. This, you know, J. Cole, I ain't never did this before. No. You know what I mean? Bruh. But, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But she said, so you know, what have you done? You know, have you did anything? I'm just like, that's a lie. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I got the little heady head, you know, you know, sucky sucky, you know. But I never went in, you know what I mean? But, you know, I had to keep it real something, but still, I ain't never even did that. I'm sorry, but I did it. And she was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I'll be your first. It's getting kind of hot. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's getting kind of hot. I was like, all right, might as well. And so you start to get to now. Here in school, you know, you know we hug and then you know. Uh, <laughs> all right, man, chubs. Okay, back to action. So. You know, I see her in school. We start talking. You know, we hugging and her. You know, she plays basketball. I play basketball too. So we was just chilling, and then we was just like, oh yeah, you know, we mess with her. They're like, oh, who you talking to and all that, you know? I'm, I mean, I'm looking alright, but not so saucy as I am now, you know. What I mean? But I looked alright, and then she they're like, okay, okay. So you know, one day she was like, hey, come to my house after school. I'm just like, hey, I'll be there. I got there, went to her house. She was like, well, get, get to business. I was like, all right, so, you know, I, you 
you know how you do. You gotta butter a girl up. I ain't know how I knew this, but I knew it. You know, somehow my nigga senses came to me. He's like, nigga, do this. You got this, yo. So I started doing it. She's like, you know, I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing it right. <laughs> so no, I'm just, you know, then all of a sudden, and you know, after you know the foreplay, I'm just trying to get in there. We looked at her. Damn. Lit it in there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Must be nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you hear. I'm just like. <laughs> so I did that. And then you know you just start going. Mm. Sadly. Mm. I was like. Whew. I was like, what? Oh, that's the hell. I was just like, that's so how was it? Mm. And I was like, ugh. She was like, it's okay, it's your first time, there's plenty more. So I got happy. I was like, all right, she cool with it. Then after that, bro, you know, we, we kept on doing it. It was a daily thing. Your boy got better. Down. John Savage, why you trapping so hard? Down. Why do you nigga capping so hard? Down. Why you got a 12 car garage? <laughs> Why you pulling out these rappers' cars? And then, you know, I, we caught feelings. We talking every day. We tasting every day. Then, I guess to find out she going out with a girl. I'm just like, what? And then she just like, she just talking to me. She talking to me like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what? Hmm. <laughs> it's long. Then she's like, oh, we just broke up. Mm. A few weeks later, I was like, oh, really? No, that thing was good. It was my first love, so I was like, I'm sliding back in. So it was homecoming, you know, the homecoming football game. I see her, I give her a little gift. And then that girl that she was going to was looking right at me. It's salty as hell. Dang. Salty as hell, bro. Mm -mm. She was looking just like. I'm just like, you know, that's me. Psych! So, you know, we start talking. You know, we do what we're doing again. Then one day, after basketball practice, I was, you know, hugged up with her. And I see the girlfriend, her ex, her ex-girlfriend coming down the little stairwell. She looked at us, she went back. I'm just like, girl, what was that? You know, I'm like. Then she came back screaming. I was like, whoa. Then she rushes him on me. And puts the hands on me. I'm like, I want to go! Okay, but you're still a female though. So, you know, I'm not going to get to swinging. But then, like, I, I just have her hands held down like this. I'm luckily everybody else around me. So, they over here, you know, holding and they throw her out. So, I'm just like, oh my God, what was that? At the end of the night, she was like, I'm sorry, but we, I accepted her back. I'm just like, what? I'm like, what? So, after that, I was really done with her, bro. You know? Well, really done with her. Then you know, I went and got a another girlfriend, and then she tries to come back and, and you know mess that up. I'm really trying to avoid her right now. And then like you know, a few months into it, she comes back, and then you know she just she texts my phone, talking about I miss you. I'm just like, and then this is where a nigga fucked up. I was like, I miss you too, but oh, man. But, but I was like, but I can't do this. In a different message. But I was like, but I can't do this. I gotta stick with my girl, I'll take it. So I'm really gonna have to cut you off. So after that, I'm feeling confident. I was like, yeah, I got a girl. I'm, I, I don't roll that way. Then, you know, I'm waiting. I'm, after school, I usually wait with, with my girlfriend so we can, you know, walk to the bus together. You know, some high school shit. I'm over here waiting. She not coming. She not coming, bro. I'm like, where's she at? Then I see her friend. I asked her, I was like, hey, where's she at? I looked at her friend, I was like, hey, where's she at? She was like, I don't know. With some attitude, I'm just like, I'm just like, what? You know, I'm just looking. Then I'm over here depressed, I'm sitting down the bus like, like, you know what's going on? I'm texting her, I'm blowing up her phone. She not answering nothing. Then I got home, she was like, she sent me a screenshot of me saying I missed her. But it ain't nothing else, it's just that one. So I'm just like, that ain't the full story. And she, of course, she's not gonna believe me because she see that. So we broke up. I was like, really? 
So I went and talked to her. I was like, really? You gonna really do that? She was like, oh, you wasn't being faithful? I was like, really? So, you know, after that, I'm just, you know, all of my feelings, bro. I was like, I need her back. You know, this girl ain't doing me. She ain't doing me right. So, I, I you know how I am. I ended up getting her back, though. Got her back. Yeah, but that, during that whole period, it was like a couple months, though. During that whole period, she went and found another nigga. And then basically fucked up her head, too. And then, after that, wasn't the same. So, she started getting crazy, you know, all overprotective. Like, real overprotective. It's not even overprotective where I can like it. It's way overprotective. It's like, this. But, you know, next semester. Mm. 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 Now tell me this, y'all. Tell me how this happened. You know how you have different classes next semester. My day is going great. I love my classes. I get to my last block happy. Guess who I see walking the door? That same, the same girl I've been messing with that's messing up my life. I was like, God, mm. how? Mm. Not only that, no. guess who I see walking in too? Mm. The ex-girlfriend. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Bruh, are you telling me that both of them are in this class? And they was. And then the ex-girlfriend came with me. Oh, you're not talking to her no more? I was like, what you mean? I was like, bro, no, I'm not talking to her no more. My dumb ass gonna start talking to her again. Well, I started talking to her. You know, did what we did. And then uh, she fucked up. She fucked up my life again. She went and got another nigga. And after that, I was really done with it. I was done with her, done with everything that we had, you know, all the little gifts, everything was basically cut off. I was never going to sit there in my life again because, you know, she fucking things up. She was just playing me. I don't know what's really what she wanted. I really don't know to this day. But, you know, that's my love, my, that was my first love. But not right now, Young E on a come up. Y'all already know what's up. That's my story time. Hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's crazy, man. If you got a girl that's really loyal, keep her, bro, because she a keeper. But if she looking bad, please hand me, hand me to her. Yeah, man, I need that. Yeah. He need, I need that. that. He has that. that. I need and Jug right here, too, need that. Jug, this one right here. He need he that, too. That too. Yeah. We all need that effect. We all need that. No. If you curvy. Yeah. If you got a nice ass. Yeah. You got that nice face. Yeah. I eat a hot pocket off your old booty. No. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Creep Boys E and T. We out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, for you, you already know what's up. If you like the video, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. give it a like. Subscribe, subscribe to us because we got more content. Blow us up. We about to get out there because we about to make it pop in, y'all. Y'all already know what's up. Pepperoni pizza. And our social medias are in the link in the description.